What is going to be down on Thunder? Checking out Orbit Culture through time. Orbit Culture is like kind of, they become like an underrated Dan band. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I think I've only heard five of their songs, but so far, I think this will be six. Uh, but like, they've got some bangers, bro. Uh, From the Inside, banger. North Star of Nia, banger. Uh, what's the other one? There's, oh, The Shadowing? Banger, and also, like, their most epic I've heard so far. Like, if you want to hear a metal epic? Check out the last, like, two minutes of The Shadowing. It's fucking crazy. But let's check this out. This comes from Rush. Appreciate you, homie. You guys have any requests? Just hit me up. Through time. Thank you, YouTube. Jesus Christ. Whoa, we got cello? I don't trust it. I'm liking this, bro. I'm liking this. It's entirely different energy than I've heard from them so far. I like this. This might be like their Alone I Break or their Vermilion. You know, that song that comes in the, the middle of an album that changes up the entire tone. Every great album needs one. This might be theirs. Yep. I know I 
perfect fight. Come on, man. That was one of the best minute, maybe 90 seconds of music you will ever hear. That that finale, we were in a perfect fucking storm of music. Like, I, I usually use that perfect bite thing. You know, there's no crust. It's hanging out. It's perfect amount of meat, cheese. Every sandwich gets one perfect bite. That was a perfect bite of music, and they prolonged it for, again, I think that was over a minute, and it just kept elevating. Everything was just colliding perfectly, and then Double Pedal took it up to another level, which I did not expect. Do we dare? I think we dare. to go back and listen to a song like Warg Blood, it's like a, a completely different band. And that's a good thing. Not saying it's a bad thing, but it's a, it's a good thing when you can do that type of range of the spectrum. So I don't understand metal fans who they'll buy an album because like they'll hear, as an example, Warg Blood. And then the Vultures of the North. They're all sweet. Awesome. Love this sound. I'm going to buy this Orbit Culture album. You buy it. Then a song like this will be somewhere on the album. And you'll just say, this is trash. It's just not as, it's just not heavy. Uh, this is heavy elements. But this is obviously a much more emotional, softer song overall. And some metal fans, it just they just can't do it for some reason. I don't fucking get it. It drives me goddamn insane. That's fucking awesome. Like, that was great. But again, you can't have a perfect album and you're not a top, top tier band if you're unable to do a song like that. Just telling you right now, you, you're just not. You're, you're one dimensional. That was... That was fantastic. That was fantastic. It's probably my personal favorite Orbit Culture song. And that's saying something. I fucking love North Star of Nia. It's a great song. And the shadowing is epic as hell. It, you know, I mean, it makes your beard grow a beard. It's a, it's a fucking great one. But that, it might be a me thing. Again, I always love Vermilion Part 2, Circle, Slipknot songs. And then a lot of Slipknot fans trash those songs for being too soft. Maybe it's me. Either way, I don't care. That song is going on the playlist. A great one. Let me know what you guys think down below. We got a, in a very, not many songs give us a perfect bite. They just don't. Alone I Break, for example, from Korn. It's their, it's their soft song. Does not have a perfect bite on it, though. Doesn't. Doesn't have that moment. Vermilion Part 2 does at the end, also. 
Some do, some don't. But it's rare. And when you and you know it too when you get one. When you hit that perfect storm of music in a song, you know it. It's like an ultimate apex.